I'm Brainy Dawson, and today I'm going to show you how to use a light microscope. But before we get into that, let me say, as humans, we defend ourselves against mosquitoes using insect repellents, shirts, pants, our hands. Insects are annoying, but I never knew how great they could be at defending themselves like we do. In a very surprising research paper, I read that scientists found a really interesting way that insects defend themselves against infections by fungi. And the scientists did part of their research using a light microscope. If you need to move the microscope, carry it with two hands, holding one hand under the base and one hand on the arm, place it gently on the flat surface. Never carry the microscope with one hand. Always use two hands. The microscope has a light in it, so you have to plug it in, turn it on before you'll be able to see anything. When you put the slide on the stage, open the stage clip to fit the slide onto the stage. If your stage clip swings open like this, it doesn't sit on top of the slide, it uses pressure to hold it in. Don't try to make a swinging stage clip fit on top of the slide, or it can break the slide or clip. Once you have the slide on the stage, use the coarse focus knob to lower the stage all the way to the bottom and use the stage control knobs to move your sample so that it's directly over the condenser. These are the objective lenses and they magnify the image in different amounts. It says on the objective how much it magnifies. This one magnifies four times and this one 40 times. It's good practice to always start by using the least powerful objective, which on this microscope is four times objective. The objective pointing directly downward is the one in use. To make sure that's the one you start with, you can turn the objective housing just like this. Never turn the objective housing by grabbing the objective itself. You can damage the objectives. To focus on the slide, you have to change the height of the stage, which you can do using the focus knobs. In the beginning, when nothing is in focus, use the coarse focus knob, which moves the stage a lot. Once the image is slightly in focus, use the fine focus knob to get the image perfectly in focus. If your microscope has two oculars, you should be able to adjust the distance between them so you can see through both at the same time. Adjust the oculars so they match your eyes. If you can't find your sample, use the stage knobs to move the slide so the edge of the cover slip is directly under the objective. Then focus on the edge of the cover slip. Once you focus on the edge of the cover slip, you can use the stage control knob to move the slide over so your sample is under the objective. And now your sample should be close to being in focus. You can increase magnification by rotating the nose piece to the next objective power. It's good practice to increase the magnification one objective at a time. Don't skip an objective. The higher the magnification, the more light you'll need. You can adjust the light levels using a knob on the side of the microscope. If you need to use the 100 times objective, you'll need to use oil immersion. I'll cover how to do that in another video. By the way, the actual magnification of your sample that you see through the oculars is the magnification of the objective times the magnification of the ocular, which is 10. So if you are using the four times objective, then the actual magnification of the sample was four times 10 or 40X. If you're using the 40X objective, then the actual magnification of the sample is 40 times 10, which is 400 times. When you use the course focus, the stage moves up and down a lot. Using any other objective but the 4X may cause it to smash into the slide. The cleanup routine is very simple. 
Rotate your lenses to four times the magnification. Place your slide back where you got it from and make sure you're careful handling it. You wanna hit the off button, unplug, wrap your cord around the arm, and be careful placing your microscope back to where you got it from. Now I know it may seem like a lot of steps, but watching this video and following each one is crucial to using a light microscope. What cool things will you get to see under the microscope?